how do I know what are actually my feelings? Well, this is, I feel, a quite a good question, actually, yeah. because um, there are a number of different factors to it. Firstly, most of us are so detuned from our own feelings that we actually hardly feel our own feelings at all. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we're even more sensitive to the feelings of other people than we are to our, than to our own feelings. Yeah. In addition, we have spirits surrounding us. And if we're sensitive or open to other people's feelings, we're also going to be very open to the feelings of people we can't see. So it's very difficult then to determine what are my feelings, what are the feelings of other people with me, and what are the feelings of other spirits with me? Yeah. And how do all of these things all mix up together? So it is very, very hard sometimes to know mm. what your feelings are when you're so desensitised to your feelings. Mm. The only way you're going to be able to discover what your own feelings are is to become more sensitive to your own feelings <laughs> and also to become more sensitive to feelings in general. Mm -hmm. So what happens to a lot of people is they try to desensitise the, to themselves to the feelings of others. But that's not the way of finding out whether things are your own feelings or other people's feelings or not there at all. Because when you desensitise one aspect of your soul, you're attempting now to suppress every aspect. And that's the principle of suppression. Yeah. So if a person looks at our human soul, how the human soul functions, FAQs, and listens about the principle of suppression, they'll learn that if you suppress one aspect of your soul, then automatically lots of other aspects of your soul are automatic, are suppressed. Whether you like it or not. Whether you happens. like it or not. Yeah. So what you're really doing when you suppress one aspect of your soul, for example, your sensitivity to other people's emotions, is that you're also suppressing your own sensitivity to your own emotions. Yeah. And there's nothing you can do about that if you're going to choose to do that. If you do one, the other will automatically happen. Mm -hmm. Also, if you choose to become desensitised to your own emotions in order to control them, yeah. you will automatically become insensitive to other people's emotions. Mm. So the only real way of finding out what you yourself are feeling yeah. is by becoming open to the concept that you need to become more sensitive yeah. to your own emotions yeah. and feelings. Yeah. And once you become more sensitive to emotions and feelings, you will know the source of those feelings. Yeah. You will know whether those feelings are coming from you, whether they're coming from other people with you, mm -hmm. or whether they're coming from spirits that are with you mm. quite easily. Mm -hmm but only the more sensitive you become to your own feelings yeah. will that occur. And that's the only way that you can actually become more sensitive to and, feel, to, f and to feel your own feelings. So when I began the process in this life again, I was very desensitised to my own feelings. It was rare for me to feel my own feelings. As a result, I was often confused when I was interacting with others because I couldn't tell what their feelings were either. Yeah. I couldn't... I couldn't I couldn't feel their feelings properly and I couldn't feel their intentions. Whereas now that I've sensitised myself to the feelings and God's love being receiving, God's love obviously helps you sensitise yourself to feelings. Yes. It softens up your heart to yeah. feelings. Once that happens, you become more sensitive to everyone's feelings around you. You know what they're feeling. You know what they're thinking even. You know the emotions they're holding on to and suppressing, you even know where they came from. And you also know the same about yourself mm -hmm. and you know the same about spirit, with spirits you can't, people you can't even see, spirits. You know the same sort of information. And so this is going to help you immensely in your life determining what's the right course of action in any situation mm -hmm. because you will know, because you're sensitive emotionally, the feelings of everybody in the situation. Mm -hmm. Mm. So what we need to do basically in answer to this question is learn how to become more sensitive to our own feelings. Yeah, because the, the question could actually be asked two ways, couldn't mm -hmm. it? How do I know what are actually my feelings? Like, so how do it could be read, how do I know what my feelings are? Correct. Or how do I know what are my feelings in as versus opposed other people. to other people? And the answer to both questions is the same. Yeah by becoming more sensitive to feelings. Yes. So that's how you know. Yeah. And it's not about using your intellect. It's not about, you know, trying to use your mind to work out where it's coming from, what's going on. That will automatically occur once you're more sensitive to your feelings. So the key is to open up to the sensitivity 
of your feelings. And how do we do that? Well, we've talked many times about that. There's hundreds yeah. of questions we've car carried about that. But primarily, again, there's three ways. You become open to being loved and wanting to love. Yeah. You become open to receiving truth and wanting truth. Yeah. And you become open to your own emotions. Yeah. And you do this with God. Mm -hmm. And that's how you... Be, and if you receive God's love, you will become very soft very rapidly and you'll change quite markedly. And as a result, you'll be very sensitive to everybody's feelings, including your own. Great. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>